in this session of metrology and instrumentation we are discussing on machine vision in this presentation we will be seeing what is a basic concept of uh, machine vision uh, the machine vision system or the steps generally involved in this and few applications of machine vision machine vision has got few names like robotic vision artificial vision computer vision etc so machine vision means it's a study of methods and techniques whereby vision system of living beings is artificially constructed and usefully employed for practical applications so it analyzes that it is it's studying the vision system of living beings not just human being but it is established that human beings are having most developed vision system when we compare the vision system of living beings we have the capability of sensing colors depth information texture and we can process even different levels of gray also any machine vision system initially evaluates or uh, Uh, how the human vision system works in human vision system if you look here we have eyes we have uh, uh, sensors here retina we have some nerve system and we have processor brain here okay that means our vision system has also got a lens we have got a sensing location that there it will be the signals light signal will be converted to electrical signals that will be communicated to the processors in the brain it is processing and it will give a sense that we are seeing something though we say that our vision system is very much advanced just to have uh, see the limitation of our system or how much we have advanced to see that i'll take you to uh, one example in this particular uh, view i am showing two figures only one information is missing and that is color with this are you able to identify what these fruits are we know that these are fruits it is kept on a plate but we may identify this as an apple this is also an apple what is this is this another apple or an orange not sure what is this? is it goa or lemon we don't know what it is not sure is this pear looking like a pear and we are not sure when it comes to this figure all the fruits are having defined shapes so to certain extent we can identify what these are this is a banana here we have banana there are berries here mulberry and other blueberry here apple what is this is this apple maybe apple is this lemon and what this is is it pear or some other vegetable like brinjal here we are unable to identify this because we are losing the color information to certain extent we are unable to sense the texture also so let us see what actually these figures are we can see that in the first figure this is apple this is apple this was orange this was lemon okay now the color and texture shows that it's a lemon what is this only if we know what this is when we see this by seeing the texture and the color if it is kiwi fruit only if that kiwi is in our brain or in the memory we can identify this as kiwi kiwi but we can see this this is an incomplete figure and we are unable to judge what it is it may be pear or it may be guava we don't know so incomplete information cannot be processed so now in this he can tell and utilize this fruit or this particular object for certain application or some purpose only if we are able to interpret what these are right now if the information is not in our memory we can say we cannot utilize it and if it is there in our memory we can say that oh this is that fruit and can be used for these purposes so taking information for some other application is called as interpretation 
only if we interpret something then only we can utilize the information now in this we know that uh, these are apple or uh, goa this looks like goa okay now it's goa these are apples these are berries as we have seen here but this we uh, are identified earlier that as a brinjal but now it is seen that it is avocado but now again you can identify this as an avocado only if the information about the avocado is already there in our mind so this is called as interpretation of data when we say that machine vision leads with the information about a living being let me tell you a few examples of the vision of living being this is our, our view if we see this may be the view seen by uh, a cockroach that may not be seeing the object properly as we see here there is a view of a uh, nature this is a view of some other uh, animal maybe this is a view by a uh, buffalo whose sense whose eyes are sensitive more towards the red color so this is the view shown uh, taken by uh, a cat or a dog this may be the vision system of fish that means every living being have got its own uh, vision system but and they process it for their own application when we study all these kind of things in machine vision system why we study this because it is not always necessary to utilize the vision system of human being itself rather we can utilize any uh, vision pro, uh, system pro, uh, uh, processed by any of the living being and only purpose is the image that we grab with the vision system should be sufficient for the performance of a requirement that's why i have brought these many examples so to produce a vision system and utilize it just like a human being it's a costly affair we know that in our body again vision is the most costly sensor when we know that when the vision system if it is attached with other device like even mobile phone or any other device the cost of the device will be increased we also know that if the capability of the vision system in this mobile phone or any other device increases naturally the cost will also be increased so vision system will be typically utilized with an optimal requirement so that the cost and the function will be met now let us see the system machine vision system what are these we have seen the machine vision the, the vision system in human being and we have seen that there was a lens there was a sensor that converts a light, light there was communication there was processor etc etc that means there was hardware in our system there was communication there was a processor also like brain in our system then only we will get the feel that we have seen something just like that in a machine vision system also it will have hardware as well as software hardware uh, uh, we cannot uh, in this diagram i am not uh, distinguishing what are hardware with what uh, software we are i am just describing what this machine vision elements in in the system now i'll explain the figure block diagram this is an object say there is a lens there is optical image formed by the lens typically the optical image will be upside down this optical image will be converted to digital image by image digitizers and the digitizer will be storing the information in a temporary memory and from the temporary memory the information will be passed to the processor the processor will process it the processor may be utilizing certain algorithms or filters for the processing the processor will be utilizing certain information from the library also that is already stored information also for the processing i'll give example for this when temporary memory gets uh, uh, information digital image when it is coming to the processor many of the times the information the image may not be good enough for the further applications or further processing in that condition the processor will convert the image or uh, to a required image it can be a modification of image or it can be even enhancement 
modification and enhancement are different if we have a vague picture and if we are making it good for our view then we can say that it is enhanced but we know that there can be certain images where the only uh, 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 some other information will be required like i'll tell you uh, take you the case uh, the take the case of a photograph that is taken by your mobile phone if you convert the clear uh, the clear image to a sepia image or a gray image then actually you are not enhancing it rather you are modifying it for some other application it may be looking good or it, it may be used for some other purpose for this kind of enhancement or modification the processor will take certain algorithm i'll tell you one more algorithm that is commonly seen that is a red eye detection algorithm in this when you uh, uh, when the image is taken if there is a red eye seen in the eyes of the person and the algorithm will be utilized to automatically remove it so that the image is enhanced so there are possibilities of utilizing algorithms and filters to modify the image so that the image will be modified or the image will be enhanced the modified and enhanced image can be utilized by the system for three purposes generally if one purpose is action that means in take the case of an automated packing system where if a robot see an object and if the object is identified after modification of the image then the robot will take maybe picking it up or it can be pushed to some other direction etc etc that means the robot will take an action based on the image another option of modified image is to show us back the image through a visual display unit visual display unit uh, that is happening in the case of a mobile phone where you are taking the image to the lens and the system is showing back to you the what you, the image is through the screen so once you see the image and it becomes uh, your duty or responsibility to interpret the image when you see the something and you will be interpreting it again another option of modifying the in uh, or enhanced images to store it back once it is stored it is stored in the memory or the library i'll give another example connected with human being suppose a police is uh, uh, showing some lookout notice of some person and that person was not at all in your memory now once you see the photograph of that person it is there in your memory now in your library now okay now when you see the person automatically yeah uh, somewhere somewhere uh, when you pass and when you see the person you are actually comparing the person's image with what is stored in the memory and then you identify that oh it is that person so that is possible only when a image is stored in the library so these are the uh, functioning of a machine vision system altogether we will go back uh, go further to the details of the machine vision system in the next part